The easiest way to solve this is to put z in polar form, z equals r e to the i theta. So therefore z squared is equal to r squared e to the 2i theta, and the imaginary part of z squared is therefore equal to r squared sine 2 theta, and the modulus of z is equal to r, so the modulus of z squared is equal to r squared. So our limit becomes the limit as z approaches 0 of r squared sine 2 theta over r squared, which equals sine of 2 theta. Now for the limit to exist, no matter how we approach the origin, the limit must approach the same value. If we approach from theta equals zero, then sine two theta equals zero, so our limit would be zero. But if we approach, for example, from an angle of pi over four, then our limit is sine of two pi over four, which is equal to one. Clearly, the limit does not approach the same value if we approach from different angles, and therefore the limit doesn't exist. Answer E.